this is my first set of videos regarding sister locks um, Q&A I have been receiving a lot of questions um, over the last year and um, I usually just answer them but I figured it's easier to make a video when I first decided that I was going to get sister locks it was um, I didn't I didn't find anything on YouTube I actually didn't look on YouTube I don't believe but the places that I looked um, I only found one young lady and she was from Detroit and she had sister locks and she gave you a step-by-step -step every month so I could see exactly how she looked and I mean every month that after I was locked every month I would go back and look and see if my locks looked like the hers and they did not her locks was much bigger than mine so for today I want to start with an email a message that I received yesterday and I will then add some of the other messages that I've received go from there so the very first question was um, can you give me some of your feelings about the steps you took before you decided to get sister locks um, before I decided to get sister locks I was in braids and I had so wore, braids. I wore braids and and um, weaves and stuff like that before I was locked so those are the steps that I took um, one I had wore braids for so long but I still had perm ends and then the my braider was combing my hair um, before she braided it and the perm just fell off so I was upset because I felt like I was losing my length but I didn't I never wore my natural hair so it really didn't make a difference my mother passed and I needed a style real quick um, for my hair so I went and got a perm and so that's why I was permed at the beginning of my sister lock journey because I my mother passed in April and I think I I got sister locks in October if I'm not mistaken so that's why I had the perm in how do you feel now I feel excellent with my sister locks. sometimes I get where um I don't want them like I'm furious and I'm like I, I just want like I see styles and I want those and I don't want my locks and but then I always go back like that's the maybe the morning me and then the afternoon me is like what what are you talking about it locks are beautiful I can get up and go whenever I feel like it the next question um, have you made any changes yes and no um, some of the changes that I made was I my locks were very are micro so I um, combined a few of them my lactation combined I think maybe three before I stopped going to her and then now I combine them as I, I see that they're cool. getting thin and of course I probably won't be able to find one for you but I'll keep looking um, are yours micros yes they are micros did you decide on the size or did your lactation well I was once I found my lactation and I was comfortable with calling someone and asking questions I called her and Paulette explained after I explained to her my history like I couldn't keep braids in my hair longer than three weeks I always needed to change the style and she said well I think you should go with micros yeah, but I'll wait because you're changing your style so often because your hair is so thick I believe that you should go with micros well I had never seen micros because like I said the lady that I seen on the internet and I, I'll see if I can find her site again but that was over five years ago so the lady that I see that I found on the internet <coughs> she was um her locks were, were, were pretty big. They wasn't brother locks, but they were much bigger than micros. And then I had the sister lock website to go off of, but those pictures was very older than, than what I, you know, they, they were about five years old at that time. They've just updated the site a few years back because one of my good friends is on there now. But, um, however, so they've updated the site, but at that time the pictures was very old and there wasn't too much to go off of and... I, I did not like those hairstyles. Question. How do you maintain them? When I first was locked, my lactation maintained them for a year and then I decided to take the class. So now I maintain them myself. Um, 
I think I'm going to do a video on how I used to um, wash and how I wash now. But I'll give you just a brief overall. I used to use Mane & Tail shampoo and then the sister, the sister Lock shampoo. My hair would not lock it. It was real... I don't know if you could see any, but I have a bunch of them. I have a bunch of curly cues on the ends. And she told me that that's the reason why I had the curly cues is because my hair, uh, because I was using the mane and tail and not only the sister lock. So I started using the sister lock starter kit all over again. I must have been like five months in. And I started using that all over again. Now I will say that when I took the class I was so un I didn't want to mess my hair up so it took me like two and a half months to get through my entire hair because I was very slow and then I would be calling her and I would be running out she lived like 45 minutes away from me I'd be running to her house to make sure I was doing the correct thing and so it took me a long time to lock my hair and then because of that I had like this much new growth now I, I maintain my hair every three weeks so I had a lot of new growth in my hair and during that time I notice now that that's where the thinning part is at so I would say that if you are going to maintain your hair yourself or you're going to go to a lactation make sure that you make frequent visits uh, you don't have to go every three weeks but make sure that you're not going two and three months out because then your hair would thin out and those those are some of the pieces that snapped off now when I first got lock I had a problem at the very top of my head and I still have a problem there they starting to grow and they're starting to thicken up because I combined a few of them but I will show you you see how short these are I don't know if I'm low enough in the chair but these are much shorter than all of the rest because at that time the hair was very little and it would always um, come loose and I had to protect them I would rubber band them and this was my problem area right here in the center and then when I told you you can see it right here how it's very thin can you see it let's see how it's very thin right up in here this is around about where I um, stopped getting locked by my lactation so this is probably what she did right here on the ends and then this is the time that it took me to get my hair together where I got to this point and then this is myself locking it all down here so you can see that it's very thin and it's not good let's see if I can find a piece of paper it's not good at all to go so long without getting your hair why my locks are so full and so big but it, I guess if you're, you're going for this and you probably need to get as get them as small as possible and um, someone asked me before would I recommend micros to other people I say um, yes and no it depends on your hair type and what you're going for micros work good for me I have a lot of locks so if I lose a few it's not like oh my gosh you can tell um, the back of my hair is very short because the back also wouldn't grow but the back is is the thicker ones and I like these I love these and I'm, I'm not sure if I would want them all over my head but I love the fact that these are thick these have they have buds on the ends and I have a problem with snatching the buds off I'm trying to get better with that I know it's been five years but four years of yeah four years I'm trying to get better with that but I always snatch the buds off she the says I know I have a lot of questions but I really needed to hear more from others and no that's not a lot of questions because I had many more and the only person that I can ask is my lactician and she wasn't locked. Um, and I hope that this helped you. Um, I'm going to do another series with some more questions hopefully in another week or two or a couple weeks but any other questions that you have please ask me because I know that 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 going into this journey it is it's very hard when you everybody around you that don't have it I mean it's easy to go to your next door neighbor and say who dyed your hair or who permed your hair or who braided your hair or or where can I get some braids but it's very hard to go to someone and say where can I get some locks done at? I mean people ask me Most all the time. questions that I get are are they tie zillions and are they um, yarn I've never seen yarn I don't really know how it's done but obviously it must look like sister locks because I get those questions a lot um, and I guess okay. I, bye I hope that helped